I'm meteorologist Carl Bonak. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for October 22nd and 23rd. The high on the 22nd, Tuesday 36. That's well below average. The average high now below 50 though at 49. The average low is 32. We were at 33 for a low temperature. And there was snow. Snow, most of it fell on the evening of the uh, 21st at Jacobsville, 4.6 inches, much of it coming down in an hour or two. Three inches at Ironwood, 2.2 officially at the National Weather Service site near Nagani. Most of the snow was in the uh, northern UP, but one exception in the south, Cooks in Schoolcraft County, one and a half inches, and Stambo in Iron County, an inch of snow. Newberry, Exposed to much of the full length of Lake Superior had a lot of warm air, but there was enough cold for measurable snow, a half an inch. Here's what's going on. The big upper low that affected us has moved off to the uh, northeast, but we still have a trough, a trough centered over central North America. That trough will edge a little farther east on Wednesday, but overall things won't change too much. Low pressure in eastern Canada, high pressure in western Canada means a northwest or west-northwest wind. That means more snow showers off of Lake Superior mixed with some rain. Most of the precipitation in the north, though, on uh, Tuesday, some of it made it into the south, at least in the afternoon. Then on Thursday, high pressure builds into the northern plains. Low pressure will still be in eastern Canada. That means more showers off of Lake Superior snow, probably mixed with some rain. It looks like a break on Friday, a temporary one as high pressure builds to our south. That means winds turn around to the west, even southwest, as a new low pressure area approaches from the northwest. This clipper likely to move through on Friday night and give us a little more rain and snow. Your TV six day forecast temperatures remain below average. It looks like again a little bit of a warm up Friday into Saturday before somewhat colder air moves in to round out the weekend.